another little video concerning why isolated contact points contact points that are very well isolated so that stimulus only can escape at the end of the contact point versus a contact point like this that is not isolated and where the stim can escape at the side as well as at the top at the side as well as at the top i took two original screws to make you clear what can happen now i'm gonna put the camera down so that i can see a little bit also this is a transmitter that is set on rising stem. If I push the buttons, as you can see, it goes, starts from level five, I think. And when I stop pushing, it stops working. I put my arm at the two contact points. I hope you still can see it. I put my arm on the two contact points and I push the transmitter. And this I can barely hold. I must show it so that you can better see. I do it again. I push on the transmitter. And the moment that you see crispation in my arm was at a certain level and I do it again. Try to better show you. And we do it again. And this again is at, I think, level 10 or level 11. You see high muscle contractions. I go again. Yeah. and I have to take it away and I do it again okay and I do it again so you see my body is always reacting between level 9 and 11 with strong muscle contractions I'm gonna put this little crocodiles with a lead on the negative and the positive contact point Remember, that electricity always go for the shortest way. As you can see, when I tap my e collar, it should work. And you see it at the light here. I don't know if you see it very well. I'm gonna try it again. Do you see it? Do you see the light there? Do you see the light? Try to make it more visual. See the lights. So there I will point my finger to the light. Okay. Now I'm gonna put my two fingers on it and I tap the button. And what you see, nothing happens. The only thing that happens is the LED flashes. Now I'm gonna take the crocodile away and I do it again with my two fingers. And I feel it immediately level seven and eight. And with the crocodiles on it, I feel nothing. That's why you need contact points that are totally isolated and that's why with the new contact points that we did make I to show it better we did try to isolate the whole contact point and only at the totally surface there there is a little non-insulated part and as you can see this is also very round so we minimize skin problems due to necrosis it's a very soft round contact point but due to the fact that there's a very small surface very small surface all the stimulus go in that little service and make a perfect contact 
and even on the inside of the contact point, the inside, which is there, the inside, inside, I cannot show you, okay, the inside, there is total isolation at the inside of the contact point, the inside there, it's only the outside where contact is that the stimulus can escape, can float from the point to the skin of the dog. And that's why it's so important that you, once a week, clean the inside of your collar with soap and water to make sure that there is no fat or dirty stuff at the inside of the collar. What we do, my wife and me, we put it just in the dishwasher once every two weeks. Perfect, no problem, waterproof. And that assures us a perfect, clean color at the inside to be sure that we have a perfect contact with the skin of the dog. Thank you for listening to this little debate.